in the small villages that dot the coast of Karnataka, the air reeks of fish. But there is nothing fishy about life here. Here, life is hard and simple, a constant dash between the sea and the shore, between death and life. For the fisher folk, the sea is as much a friend as it is a foe. It's as much life threatening as it is life giving. With its constant, relentless presence, one can't afford not to be friends with the sea. It might be difficult to deal with, but it is also full of hope and possibilities. Risk is inherent in the life of a fisherman, especially if you are a small fisherman running small or medium sized boats like Anthony de Costa. It's not just the risk of taking on the sea and returning empty handed, it's the risk of losing life itself. But for the fisher folk such as Dikosta and his friends in Karnataka's Alve Kodi village, it's what life is all about, living on the edge of the roaring waves. <laughs> Doni and the Madi De, on the Holy Cross Doni and the Madi Dalgana partnership in the Madi, Kairam Prin Doni and Nursi De, other Libari Kastak to the Kakapatiambatijana, Kalasadori to Gandhi, Kalasa on the Madabe Kaka, other Sigu, the Yard of Tingala Sijan Kali, other Lay total on the Ombatilak Sapising and the Madi De, other Yas Sampad Nele, Patrin the Ambatijan, Kalasadori, Sambla Kodi, like a Bari Kastak to the other Minugari Kisala Bahala Kadame. Other Minungari can and Nambi now in Jivan on the Narasi Dewe. A Pathi Ambata Jane payment coti, Entelaksa, Bandolaki, Bari, Lastanelli, Doni and Narasi Dewe. Other no now we add thing of the list, Tagita Madi, Ega Sender than the Santa Boat Doniano, Adover Laksajinda, Obani Akiden, Mina no Yenu Rudilla. On the Duseke, Idnurinda, Arno Rupeagutta. Other Ipatha Jandri gets Sambla Kodlike, Bari Kastagutta. Like the waves of these pristine beaches, the fishermen here are relentless. No matter how many times they get no for an answer, they keep seeking their fortunes. Most of the fisher folk live their entire lives playing the thrilling game of hunger and fulfillment. For them, life is nothing but a constant gamble. Needless to say, life at sea is tough and challenging, with each fisherman's task cut out and there's no question of any laxity. A moment's negligence could ruin the whole group's fortunes. Knowing their range and surroundings is of particular importance for the smaller boats as straying too far from the shore could mean hitting the point of no return. More so for the Alve Kodi fishermen, as the sea here is rocky and dropping off the guard for a moment could spell a disaster. In addition to the usual risks involved, the sea and the boat throw more than a few surprises. The tides could turn violent any time or the engine could refuse to budge. But with their big hearts and vast pools of endurance, 
They take every adversity in their stride. Ragged, forbearing and skilled, they are cut out for the sea and the sea is made for them. The sea beckons them with all its riches and dangers and they seek the sea carrying on their chiseled frames, hope, dreams and hunger. Fishing here is as much a community business as it is an individual endeavor. It's not just a matter of a mouth to feed or a family to sustain. It's a matter of a village's survival. Many of the fishermen here employ round net fishing technique which involves a team of around 20 people working together. The technique requires setting off a trap in the sea covering a range of 250 meters and pulling the long ropes connecting the net back to the shore. During peak season, they make several trips per day, with the entire process of setting the trap and unraveling the haul taking around 3 hours to complete. For the business of this magnitude to be sustainable, they need big hauls regularly, which is rarely the case. What they make per fishing trip is usually between rupees 50 and rupees 100 per person, which is hardly sufficient for an individual to survive, let alone a family. Either Yen Anubo Namgotunto, now ye, ye than the no, Adinal course the Praia de Rebecadre, Atripe Sambalako, ye deve, Eganam Nalotamba to Varsha, E. Period and now Mota Yardo was in the Marta deve. Whether they hit the jackpot or return empty handed, they are in it together. Whatever be the case, their spirits are usually high. Their funda is simple. Today, there may not be much fish to fry, but tomorrow is a sea of opportunities.